Hi guys, welcome to AC Technical. If you are trying to run virtual machines and Android emulators or Docker on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 PC and things just don't work, you might need to enable hardware virtualization. But if you have enabled virtualization in BIOS, but virtualization firmware enabled still shows false, here's a deep troubleshooting guide to fix it. In this video, I'll be showing you how to check if the virtualization is enabled using PowerShell and how to turn it on from your BIOS or UEFI firmware. So let's get started. First, let's see if the virtualization is already enabled. Right click on the start button and open PowerShell as administrator and type this command. and press enter. Look for the field called virtualization firmware enabled. If it says true, you are good to go. But if it's false, even though you have already enabled virtualization in BIOS, then don't worry. Here I'll show you how to fix it. Sometimes virtualization settings don't fully apply with a soft reboot. Then you need to shut down your PC completely. To do that, press and hold the shift key and click set down from the start menu. Wait for 10 seconds and then turn the PC back on. Then check again in the power cell. If not solved, then try this second method. If you are using virtualization tools like Docker or Windows Sandbox, then Hyper-V must be enabled. To enable, press Win plus R, type optional features.exe and hit enter. Scroll down and check these boxes, Hyper-V, Virtual Machine Platform, Windows Hypervisor Platform. After that, click OK and reboot once and check once, hopefully your problem will be solved. In some cases, code isolation or memory integrity might interfere. So fix this, go to settings. Then go to update and security. After that, windows security and click on device security. Select core isolation. If memory integrity is enabled, try disabling it and reboot once and check if the problem is solved. If not solved, instead of relying on virtualization firmware enabled, try this to confirm virtualization support. Open PowerShell as administrator and type this command and press enter. Look for these lines. If this say yes, virtualization is active, you can safely ignore the virtualization firmware enabled false bug because it's not always reliable. Also you can check by running this command on PowerShell and press enter. Here you can check if the CPU supports SLAT and the settings is read correctly. If nothing else work, your BIOS might be outdated or buggy. Check your motherboard or PC manufacturer site. Download and install the latest BIOS or UEFI firmware and re-enable the virtualization after the update. 
if everything else shows that virtualization is working but it sometimes reads incorrectly due to BIOS queries, vendor specific firmware and inconsistent windows reporting then you can ignore the partial field. So I hope this guide was helpful for you. If you have any question or any advanced guide then please let us know. Please like comment and share we need your support. And guys please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.